<laughs> Abuelo, you got the ladder, right? Hang on, Bobby. I'm updating my status. Decorating for Dia de los Muertos. Skull emoji, smiley face, cacahuates, chimichangas, y balloons. <laughs> Carl, don't just throw the marigolds. You're supposed to make a path so our ancestors can find their way here. Our ancestors don't have GPS? <laughs> wow, what's all this? It's for our Dia de los Muertos celebration. Day of the Dead. Oh, is that like Mexican Halloween? No, mija. It has nothing to do with Halloween. It's the day that we honor our loved ones who have passed away. By bowling? <laughs> Sid, no. Right? We don't bowl, do we? No. I see your mother hasn't taught you enough about your traditions. This is an ofrenda, where we place pictures of our loved ones. This is your great-grandfather, Lázaro, mi papá. He loved sweet tamales and bowling. Between you and me, he was much better at eating tamales than at bowling. <laughs> <laughs> I put these things on the ofrenda so he can enjoy them while he visits us on this special day. I miss my papa a lot, but this holiday always makes me feel closer to him. Mrs. Casagrande, is Day of the Dead for pets too? My sister Adelaide lost her pet Froggy a few weeks ago and she's really sad. Maybe this can make her feel better. Of course, that's a great idea. But there's a lot more to know about Dia de los Muertos. Why don't we sit down and... Thanks, Abuela! How far is the land of the dead anyway? It's Frog Week on the National Frogographic Channel, like it is every week. <laughs> See? She's a mess. She can't stop thinking about Froggy. Hey, Adelaide. You know what today is? The Day of the Dead. Day of the what? Day of the Dead. It's a special holiday where Froggy could come visit you. Really? How? First, we have to build an altar and put all the stuff Froggy likes on it. What was he into? Oh, so many things. His favorite food, bacon bits. This was his favorite movie, The Hoppet. Ah! Shoelace jump rope. It kept him in shape for catching flies. Okay, Sergio. Ah, special delivery. Fresh from Carlitos. <laughs> and the lily pad with the big flower. Ah, <laughs> Got it! What do you think, Adelaide? I think Froggy will love it. You guys can go now. I'm just going to sit here and wait for him to come back. Uh, Adelaide, a tiny misunderstanding. Froggy doesn't actually come back. He just... What do you mean? You told me he was going to come visit. I thought we were going to jump rope and watch a movie and eat bacon bits. Well, we didn't mean visit. We meant... What did we mean? <laughs> now I miss Froggy even more. <laughs> Whoops. Gee, Wawa, what do we do now? Hmm, I once had a goldfish that died, and my mom just replaced it and acted like it was the same fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that still works on Bobby. To the pet store. Well, I don't usually rent frogs, but... I'll make an exception. I am such a big fan of your mom. Her gator tour <laughs> is the best thing at the zoo. <laughs> Now, remember, if anyone asks, your name is Froggy. Adelaide, someone's here to see you. I don't want to see anyone. Not even Froggy? <gasps> Froggy, you're back. I have a whole list of things for us to do. Come on, let's hit the park. Careful not to get him dirty. Why? Because we won't get our deposit back uh, from uh, the afterlife. Okay. Okay, Froggy, time to go back. I'm just 
just gonna go ahead and say it. That was a pretty great plan. I'm just gonna go ahead and agree. Hey, Adelaide, what's going on? I guess Froggy had to leave, but since that worked so well, I thought it'd bring back Great Aunt Millie, Old Mr. Woodford, and Abraham Lincoln. <gasps> I forgot Lincoln's top hat. I love this holiday. Oh no, what did we do? This is bad. We can't run a Great Aunt Millie or an Abraham Lincoln, and I have no idea who Old Mr. Woodford is. But if we can't produce these people, Adelaide will know that Froggy didn't really come back. She'll be crushed. Well, then we have to bring them back too. Leo Carlos, would you mind helping me and Sid with our school play? Well, sure. What's it about? It involves Abraham Lincoln. Oh, four score and say no more. Oh! Huh, looks great. Just one more detail. Ta-da! Okay, now hop on. This is bad timing, but I have to go to the bathroom. <clears throat> Uh, greetings, audience members. <gasps> wow, Abraham Lincoln, it worked. I didn't know what you like to eat, so I got you a hot dog. Ooh, I've never had one of these before, but I'll give Mary Todd the recipe. Well, hello there, dearie. Uh, it's me, Great Aunt Millie. Aunt Millie. Ugh. You feel lumpy. Thank you, sweetie. I've been getting ripped in the afterlife. <gasps> I've got your favorite perfume. Well, that was a great visit. But I'd better get back to the gym. They don't call me at Tread Millie for nothing. Bye, Aunt Millie. Hurry, get up there. I'm trying. You're facing the wrong way. Sorry. I'm still backwards. Adelaide, it's me, your old pal, Mr. Woodford. <laughs> Missed ya when I wasn't alive. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sid, I can't reach it. <laughs> Sid? Ronnie Ann? That's not Abraham Lincoln, and Mr. Woodford was a poodle. Right, now I remember. So that means Froggy was a fake, too? I hate Day of the Dead. <laughs> Wait, Adelaide, we can explain. Strange play. Good hot dog. Leave me alone, liars! We made it worse. What do we do now? What we should have done in the first place. Go to the expert. <coughs> Abuela, we need to talk to you. We really messed up. We gave Adelaide the wrong impression about Dia de los Muertos. She thought Froggy was really going to come back. And Aunt Millie, and Abraham Lincoln, and Mr. Woodford. Mr. Woodford? He's a poodle. Ay, muchachas. She locked herself in her room. Can you help us? Hmm. Go away, Sid. It's not Sid, sweetie. I heard you are a little sad. Froggy never came back. Oh, but he did. He he did? Come down and see our altar, mija. And I can explain what Dia de los Muertos is really all about. Adelita, this is me papa. Just like you miss Froggy, I miss me papa. Very much. He liked bowling and tamales. But he was better at eating tamales. It's your own material. I honor my papa by putting out all the things he loved, and I use incense, candles, and marigolds to help guide his spirit back. So, where is he? Well, he's in my heart. You see, on this day, we think about our loved ones, and that keeps their memories alive. So even if we don't see them, they're still with us. Mm. <gasps> I do feel like Froggy is here. Ah! Senor Froggy? It's a Dia de los Muertos miracle. There you are. Little Stinker followed the trail of bacon bits all the way back here. <laughs> you guys keep talking. I'm good. <sighs> Abuela, this isn't Froggy. It's fake Froggy. <sighs> Pete, how about we make a trade? Tickets to my mom's gator tour in exchange for the frog? Put me in the splash zone, and we have a deal. Deal. <laughs> Yay! Yes, <laughs> 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 
Thanks for saving the day, Abuela. You're welcome. I'm glad I could teach you about our family's traditions. Okay, everybody get together for a photo. <laughs> Look at the camera, Carlitos. Eh, eh, eh. Wait, where's Carl? Phew, finally, the last of the marigolds. Our ancestors will have no trouble finding our home. Now, where am I? In the last